This has proved to be a Tuesday of significant breaking news in the sports world on a couple of different local fronts. Collegiately, the Marty Bell era of Quincy University Athletics is drawing to a close and will end at the end of this December. Bell is resigning his position as the Vice President of Intercollegiate Athletics at QU and will helm the athletic department at Simpson College in Indianola, Iowa, a move that will allow the Bells to be in closer proximity to family. President Emeritus Phil Conover is serving as the interim AD for Quincy University while it begins a full search for Bell's successor starting in January. Marty Bell's announcement ends his 13-year run helming the Hawk Athletic Department, the extension of a career on campus that began when he took over as the men's basketball coach back in 2003. He ended his coaching tenure in 2017 with a 240 and 186 record in 14 years. Bell's stewardship of QU Athletics included an overall increase in total student athlete participation from 291 to its current 550, thanks to the implementation of new programs on campus, including cross country, track and field, men's and women's lacrosse, and bowling. Bell also spearheaded the $4 million revitalization of QU Stadium. Via press release, Marty Bell called his departure a bittersweet moment, but expressed pride in the many accomplishments of his tenure in Quincy and in his collection of fond memories and friendships. Also on this Tuesday, we mourn the passing of one of the true coaching giants of Northeast Missouri high school football. Hugh Dunn, who coached Macon for more than 40 years, has passed away at age 98. Dunn won 234 football games for the Tigers, six league championships, and made four playoff appearances in his tenure. After his retirement, they named the football field at Macon in his honor in 1971, and Hugh Dunn was a constant Friday night fixture there ever since. Hugh Dunn was also an NAIA Hall of Famer as a player at Missouri Valley and was an inductee as a coach into both the Missouri Coaches and Missouri Sports Hall of Fame. Our deepest condolences and sympathies to the Dunn family and all in Macon who were touched by his presence.